Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. And today I'm introducing a new 3D card box file that I did uh, with some cloud shapes. I have a slimline one in my store right now, but this one is the A2 sized when it's folded down into an envelope. Um, so I thought I'm going to try to do um, an A2 and a slimline probably for all of my styles eventually. Um, but right now I wanted to do like a mini cloud version, so that's what I did. I'm going to be using the Dragon Wishes stamp set from Mama Elephant, as well as uh, my new Waffle Flower Grip Mat, which is meant for my Misty. And I'm going to use it to hold the pieces while I ink blend. I'm just going to be ink blending like rainbow colors on the top of the clouds. So I'm going to do pink and orange at the top, yellow and green at the middle and then blue and purple and the next layer and then the very front will go back to the pink and orange um but yeah so funny story originally this was supposed to be part of my valentine's day card series and somehow when i was making it i decided that it would become a birthday card for some reason i don't know why i got off track with that um but yeah so <laughs> That's why I had to do an extra video um, last week. My food couples was a last minute add on, but it turned out really great. So I'm glad that that happened. And maybe next year I can do a Valentine's Day card with this. And actually while I was making this card, I have a couple more cards that I would like to try with this cut file. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'll do a video of just this cut file and I'll do it in, like in three different ways. I have very different ideas for this other than clouds. So we'll revisit that as soon as I can fit it into my schedule that's already been booked for the year. Uh, but I keep adding videos to it anyway. So just FYI. Um, I'm also getting very inspired with all of these box cards. The newest release from Mama Elephant with the, the cutest little cows. Um, I did a new 3D box card for that. I don't have the stamp set yet, so I don't know when I will squeeze that in or if I'm going to squeeze it in and just use some of my other like farmyard animals. I think the stamp sets I have might be a little bit too big, but, um, I might give it a go anyway. I was going to do a craft room tour next month. Um, but I think instead of that, maybe I'll squeeze that card in and then maybe in the summer when I have proper setup with my new filming equipment, I'll do like a craft room tour. I also need to get rid of some stuff in here. So it's a little bit of a mess. Um, so we'll see, but I have more 3D box cards coming out soon. Um, and I'm super excited about that, but we'll get back to this one. I originally actually did the back insert layer in the middle there. As you can see, I'm trying to pick it apart. It does rip the cardstock a little bit, but it's gonna get covered anyway, so it's not too big of a deal. Um, this tape is pretty strong. I decided to use the double-sided um, red line tape because I wanted it to stick right away. Usually I use glue even for this, but I was just you know too lazy to wait for that to dry. The last video I did, I think, for the 3D box card, I like, moved it too soon and it came apart. It, it glued back together fine. I was just being impatient as usual. I am one of those people who like to shake their shaker cards as soon as they're done and I need to stop <laughs> because sometimes, you know, the glue's not dry or it gets stuck to the tape or whatever because you need it time to like air dry. But I'm one of those impatient people who just want to like see the finished result right away, um, which is kind of like why I like working with paper and cards specifically. Um, I've done many, many other crafts over the years. I still do a lot now, but for card making, like it takes me maybe up to an hour, depending on what type of card. Like I think I fiddled with this one for an hour, but that was just because I was having problems with my restamping and then my scan and cut machine, the sticky mat is not as sticky as it used to be. So I was, like taping edges down and everything and it was still just like messing up cuts and stuff so like this card was a struggle um but for 
me, I like that instant gratification of finishing something. So if I could finish a card in like 15 minutes to an hour, like, and I have a finished product in my hand, like I like love that feeling. And I'm very proud of that, right? Sometimes you make cards that you're not proud of, that you don't love, but that doesn't mean that other people aren't going to love it. Um, I know there's plenty of cards out there that I have not 100% loved, but like the people I've given them to, just maybe because one, I made it, another because it's just, you know, specific for them that they've enjoyed what I've given them, even if I wasn't 100% proud of what I had done. Um, I've done some cards that I don't love in the past and I've done this on this channel even and just remade those cards of the future and you just make them a little bit differently because you have the more experience and more knowledge behind you when you're making that second card, right? So you know how to maybe lay things out a little bit better. Maybe you know how to match your colors a bit better. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just a lot better to make something that someone else is gonna love. And then if you need to remake it later for you, then I think you can go ahead and do that as well. Um, but don't just throw away everything you do that you don't love because it's not necessarily everyone's opinion. But anyway, I'm rambling back to the card. Um, this is my first coloring of the stamp set and I think I cut out a big portion of it. Once again, I like, colored these quite a few times actually the pink and the purple one got colored twice for sure the green one was three times I think because um well the first one when I went to restamp it it wasn't 100% lined up so it like the lines were a bit shifted and blurry so I ended up recoloring all of them again and then when I went to cut it again my when your sticky mat isn't sticky enough to hold it down, it just shifts things. Even if you just like tape around the edges, the paper, once it gets close to being completed, it's um, run with the cut. It could like bunch up and stuff, which is what it was doing. I had to change my mat um, because it was driving me nuts the other day, actually, because <laughs> I use my mat until like this sticky just pisses me off because it's just like, it's not sticky enough and it just keeps ruining a bunch of cuts and I should know to change that sooner, but I'm stubborn and I want to use my products until they're done done. So the other day I was at that frustration level where it was time to change my mat so that's sticky, uh, which is what I did. And now it cuts beautifully, no problems. So in another, you know, six months or whatever, when I need to replace it again, I will do so hopefully sooner to avoid that frustration, but one day I'll learn. Anyway, so here I am restamping the little green dragon. Um, I stamped the sentiment. I wish I had stamped it on that front panel before I had adhered it to the base as usual, but I ended up just so I didn't ruin anything. I just wanted to cut it, stamp and cut it onto a plain white piece of paper, and then I adhere that with a couple layers of paper behind it um, on the front of the card. And then... I will go ahead and add the cake on a cloud image, which is also included in the stamp set. I felt like as I had changed it into a birthday card along the way that it needed to have that cake as well, especially since it says, the sentiment says it's your birthday, light up the candles. And then there was like no candles on the card. So I'm like, okay, I'll have to put a cake with the candles or something on this to make this relevant. Um, and it looks like I stamped the sentiment twice as well uh, and rounded the corners, which is just going along with the softer look of the like clouds. I didn't want to put like a harsh box um, on the bottom with the sentiment. I wanted to round out those corners to help it give that softer look. So once I finally get this uh, cake up and done, I'm going to adhere it in front of the pink dragon on the front insert and then I end up adding I think it's Studio Katya's sugar glitter discs they're like flat confetti bits um, but they're glitter and it's like iridescent so it's kind of clear but it's like super sparkly and they come in different sizes like most sequins do so I'm gonna add those into the background just for a little bit of sparkle and then that will be my card done for today 
So thanks again for joining me today, guys. I will be back on Friday for my regular scheduled upload. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think I should add in for my next 3D box card. If you guys have any ideas, that would be great. I have a lot already, but anything that you might need, you can just like let me know below. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future content. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.